Hello, this is Kelly Bowman joining Brianna on Hip Hop United. Okay, Hip Hop United All Access. This is Brianna, and we're here live today with my special guest, the one and only. I have Dr. Sabi's daughter, Miss um, Bowen. Introduce yourself, and I also have Attorney Jordan on with me today, my co-host. We will be asking you some questions about, you know building our immunities and you know well i'm glad to be here i you know in this world today we look at everything that's going um going on and how can we tie in to a better uh you know relationship with food and that's why i'm here i want to be as helpful as possible so thank you thank you for inviting me i really appreciate it no problem no problem people talk about like how your father has healed so many people um and just you carrying out his legacy uh can we get into the cmos like what are the benefits of the cmos and you know the different minerals that it, we need for our bodies sure you know one of the things that um in my father's journey that happened with him is that he found it so important to the body as he learned about uh nutrition and alkaline in the body because uh CMOS, is a blend of a couple of different sea plants. And so together they give you the ability to have 92 minerals out of 102 that your body require. So through his journey with food and nutrition, he found this to be very helpful to the bones. It carries magnesium, it carries calcium, it carries B12, it's high in potassium chloride. So you know, you want to look at that and go, uh, I think these are necessary for those building blocks. So uh, since I was small, this is what I know. And it's like the uh, one of the original power foods or uh, superfoods, if you will. Understood, understood. Now, um, like I said, I have attorney Tajan on here as well, attorney Jordan. Uh, you had a few questions you wanted to ask her about uh, the COVID or whatever you needed to ask. Yes, and thank you so much, Brianna, for inviting me here today. Um, I am an attorney in Miami. I have received so many telephone calls from our people that have passed away in light of COVID, you know, trying to get their affairs in order or what have you after the fact, right? So if your father were alive today, um, what do you think that he would say about this COVID uh, virus that's out here? And how do you think would be the best way to combat it without taking this vaccine that they're trying to push, right? Because we all want healthy immune systems naturally. Well, if I can be blunt on this show, I hope I can and I don't offend anybody, but honestly, my father would say, I told you so. Mm. And um, why I say that is because for so long, he has been in the community talking about the uh, benefits of eating in a way to live, not just to survive. You see, because if we look at the pyramid and what it gave us, it gave us enough to sustain, I suppose, but it didn't give us anything to live life with the challenge of disease. So when we look at how we're challenged today, we have to look back at what our food sources have been. And if we take a really good look at it, we can say that it, that pyramid failed us. We can say that the education that we have behind, behind food has failed us. Because when we look at something of such, we have to go deep into, well, what at the level of nutrition do we need to raise that uh, immunity? or keep these things from happening. Well, you know, when they look at people with certain challenges, having these particular kinds of disease, diabetes, hypertension, uh, obesity, all of these are due to what? You can say that they're due to food. A lot, you know, and so when we look at that, we have lost a large amount of time uh, with education of our food. You know, one of his biggest thing was to stay on that, that, that path of education behind what we should eat. So he would tie in just, you know, as he taught us as young children, I don't think the message changed. It was just, you got to keep that gut good. You got to get rid of that mucus and you got to build your body up daily. This is not something that you want to tie in at the last minute because then there's no help on that, on that front end. You're going to pay on the back end. 
Right, right. Yeah, that's that's completely true. It all starts from our gut. So we are in an age, or at least I believe we are an age of imposters, right? Um, we have so many different people saying, oh, this follows Dr. Sabi's regimen and this follows Dr. Sabi's regimen. Where do we go to find out what his real, like where his real legacy is, where his real products are? <laughs> Every day I um, ponder over that question myself as his daughter, uh, where would be the real information? I've uh, decided uh, after my father died that I would take what I know uh, and um, learn to teach others. Uh, I'm also a nurse uh, in practice, um, retired, but <laughs> it led me to think about both sides. So knowing the natural benefits and um, adding on a medical side of it, I decided to open up Savvy Starters. And Savvy's Daughters is designed to give you that education behind um, what I've walked with him in my days of, of knowing and loving him. He was my best friend of what I used to be able to thrive. So I've taken what my father has taught me and turned it into a beautiful, uh, a beautiful way of offering to the community in my company, Savvy's Daughters. And I named it appropriately. Uh, so if I had to answer that question, just like if he was alive, we want to go to that ground. You want to go to the mother earth and you want to get their truisms. So the celebrities of the gardens, I will continue to talk about. I will preach about that. I will constantly be in the face of people who tell me that this can't be done just like him. And I stick to it. Chicken is the devil. And I have good information on why it is. So I will continue in this journey in a way that motivates all of us in the community. And I will stand up for that. I will be one of nature's heroes like my father. But the whole tie-in and the truism of it is that we gotta go back to nature and see where we started because that's really where the answers are. So with Save These Daughters, I decided to just open up the conversation again in my way. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's funny that you mentioned that about chicken. Um, I was having a conversation with a doctor over in Jamaica, and he is a large proponent of not eating chicken, not eating eggs, actually. Because when you think about it, how many of us, and I'm speaking for Black women in particular, everyone has fibroids. When I was little, I didn't know what fibroids were. And now that I'm older and getting older, and I speak to Black women, everyone has a fibroid somewhere. And w where did this come from? And how did we all get it? Don't tell so, me the chicken. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, but yeah, she said chicken was the devil. I mean, I don't know if that's the answer, but um, I, I bring that up because there are diseases that are inherent to us as a people. and. Um, I know someone in particular that went to your father's healing center and she came back pretty much clear of what her underlying westernized disease was. So I know that his healing methods work, which brings me to my last question. How was it growing up with your father? Did you, were you at the center with him and did you yourself partake? Are you speaking of the herbs that are there <laughs> at the village? <laughs> Meaning it, a, a, a regimen. Did you go out oh, on a full regimen okay. like, you know, he, like his patients would do? Yes. Okay. Well, um, one of the best things that I can say about my father is that there was no um, difference between Dr. Sabi and Alfredo Bowman. His love for his family led him to cook for us in a way that helped us to live because he was sick and he was impotent and he was diabetic. So this journey was just not his. If, he, if you love somebody, then you will feed them what is right because that's truism. That's love. That's the truth of love. So every day, whatever he took, we took. So this was a life journey. This was not something that I just came on because... Um, 
It sounded good from my father. It's a way of life that me and my brothers and sisters and family members know. So of course, CMOS was early on. And I mean, we had some bitters before they were ever popular. We had quinoa. You know, people talk about quinoa like now, we knew it as children and that was back in the 70s. So this was a, a way of living. This was not a fad for us. This wasn't a tie-in because of someone else. This was a life's journey to live. And he wanted us as his children to continue to know how to do that and to feed our children. So in order to show love, you got to first uh, look at what we're doing all together in our behaviors. And that's the one thing we all have in common is food. So when I said that chicken was the devil, I meant it. And you knew exactly where I was tying in, Ms. Jordan, and I appreciate that. <laughs> so that's exactly where I was going with it because the fibroids actually, that is one of the biggest problems women have. And that hormonal imbalance happens because we're eating a hormonal food that was not meant for you. And, you know, can you honestly say when you go get that chicken that you knew where it came from? Did you yep. know that grower? You don't. That's why I don't eat it in a restaurant anymore. I, I mean, I barely eat it at all at home, but I'm, I refuse to eat it in a restaurant. Well, you conveniently, when we do stuff like that, not just you, but in general, if we give the people, if we give people the, our power, our, our power in our nutrition, then what you're saying is they know better than you. And why is that so? You know, so these are just some of the questions that I will continue to, you know, um, forefront in my product. I, I want to be able to answer those questions for women because I get those women all the time who talk to me about fibroids and we have a, a, a number of products. Inner Woman is for those issues. We have a happy yoni for a woman's wound. I mean, we could go on, but because of my years with my father, I remember the first conversation when I was nine uh, and now I'm 49. So that I would say I've had many, many years of walking, whether it be in LA or back in Puerto Rico or in New York or Honduras. I've been to all of those places. Why? Because that's where he wanted us together. Wow. Well, now you, um, you have a, do you have a facility in Atlanta or a shop where you sell some of the uh, products? You know, Ms. Jordan brought that up. She says one of her uh, friends went to Honduras and I'm, I missed there, but I'm, I have something for the community and it's gonna be an experience here in Atlanta. Okay. I look forward to it. I've been working on this for four months. It is my love to bring something to the community to where they can tie in and you don't have to go to Honduras. So I'm looking forward to doing that because um, it's, it's my pleasure and it is, it is my love to bring to the community here in Atlanta or whoever flies in and wants to see what we have in an experience. So it's coming soon. They just have to follow us <laughs> on savingsdaughters.com. Okay. Okay. So in the meantime, um, we can purchase uh, some of these herbs from the website. Oh yeah. You got, you got everything on the website. You got, and one of the things that you, you talked about CMOS and why that's important when my father decided to come out with sea moss, which is a blend of Irish moss and bladderwrack, and how you, where it comes from is very important, but how you use it is very important. And he taught us, so I decided to make it into a soap. Then I made it into a lip balm. Then I added it to, you know, I've just went crazy with it, you know, and that's what daughters do, right? We take what our parents give us and kind of tweak it or flip it, if you will. And that's what I've done. You know, I want us to feel confident in moving forward, the progress, uh, women warriors that work for me and, and um, the loving support I have from my family. Uh, that's what I, that, that is the shoulders that I ride off of. And so I'm continuing to grow with my CMOS production in ways so we all can tie in. You don't have to be vegan. You can have a traditional diet. You can just come in and get those minerals, whether it's topical or internal on that site it goes all over the place <laughs> right okay well i know we have a few more minutes left with you um can you get into it real quick i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it correctly turmeric turmeric okay okay now what's the benefits of that now a lot of people uh like turmeric for its antiviral property uh some people are tying into really elderberry right now because of the COVID, because of the large amounts of um vitamin c it has but turmeric is known to be antiviral. 
And when you have a body that requires um, building the immune system, turmeric is used in a lot of products. I use turmeric, but it's not that you get it, it's where you get it. One of the things Dr. Sebi, my father said, is make sure it's pure. It doesn't work correctly if it's cut wrong or if it's acidic. So that's why we had to know what alkaline and acidic was so that we could stay on that side of building the body. But turmeric is um, really, if you look it up, uh, very orangey in color, but what it does for the body and the building the immune system and keeping it built and antiviral properties, it gives a power punch of different vitamins as well and minerals. But uh, it's something that uh, a lot of people have in their, in their diets, whether it's in a tea form, I particularly have it in some of my products and my soap because it works so well. It just allows the body to accept. It's one of uh, those things that allows the body to grow at the cellular level in a way and just puts those nutrients in the way it should be. Gotcha. If, I may, if I may ask, now I, I, don't, I forget the name of it. I follow, um, I follow a page on Instagram that supposedly is tied to Dr. Sabi. I forget the name of it. And I remember reading one day they posted that too much turmeric is not good for you. Is, can you elaborate on that, at, if at all, if that's the truth? Well, I would say that if you take anything, too much water is no good for you. So you want to know that the company that you're dealing with is reputable and that they know how much and, and what you know you're supposed to have on a daily when it comes to their products but in general if you're becoming your own healer if you're becoming your own herbalist if if i will uh say that but if you do that then you want to know that there are boundaries to everything there are definite boundaries to everything and in the garden you don't just choose one thing you want to have a combination and um i would say that when you look at how you're eating to what the ratio of what you're taking in, um, you better know those kinds of, you know, weights for yourself. Because yeah, I wouldn't say take turmeric all day. Nothing should be done in that way. Nothing should be overdone. So yeah, that, that, is, that is true. That turmeric is one that possibly can cause you some challenges, not in the way of um, acid, but in the way of you take in too much and it just dumps out in your urine regardless if it's natural. But uh, some people have gut issues. And so that's why it's necessary to have consultations with people to understand where pro um, you know, progress should happen and how it should be managed and how we need to have form plans to what you're doing because everybody's body is different. Yours is different than mine. Mine is different than someone else's. So we really have to sit down and talk and really look at what we're doing as a whole because I, I could tell you taking turmeric is great, but I'm really gonna ask you, what's in your cabinets? Because that'll tell me how great you are. Understood. All right, well, we do appreciate you for you know joining us today on the check-in. Big V, do you have any last uh, concerns or questions or comments? No, I website and things of that nature, so I will probably do some, some purchasing and give to some listeners, you know? So I'll, I'll hit the site and uh, grab some, you know, some, some healthy, you know, uh, items and things of that nature to, uh, to, you know, to give uh, gifts, you know, give as gifts, excuse me. So that's what I'll do. I'm excited about that, so. <laughs> All right. Well, we do appreciate you for allowing uh, Hip Hop United uh, radio segment on 97.9 The Beat. And, um, and the daughter of Dr. Sabi, uh, Kelly Bowman. Um, Attorney Jordan, we appreciate everybody for joining me today on the check-in. All right. All right.